Welcome back guys. So we're just headed down right now to clean off the pad. Um, the sun is shining right now, but it's supposed to rain today. The cows are actually all still inside. So that's why we're kind of taking the opportunity while they're in to go clean off the pad, just to make sure it's ready for them when they go out tonight. It is supposed to stop raining tonight, I think. Um, seems like lately all it does is rain. It's supposed to rain all week, I think, like three or four days this week. I don't know. It is helping the grass. I think you have to pretty much stand there and actually watch it grow. So we're gonna have an insane hay year if it keeps this up, especially if the sun does ever come out and shine. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today. I completely forgot to turn on the other camera before I got in here. Which means I have to crawl up on the tire. Huh. Okay, now we're ready to go. If you guys are new here, I'm Taylor. I work on a dairy farm in central Maine and I make videos about that. It's just me and my boss, Brent. We do all the work here. We work seven days a week. So if you enjoy watching this kind of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join us and the more people we can reach, the better because everybody needs to know where their food comes from. So.
going in different directions. I think that, uh, I think that tie rod arm finally came undone. Yep, that's what happened. This looks awful egg shaped. Hopefully we don't need a whole new Maybe that piece comes off. I guess that really wouldn't be a big deal. We just need a whole new one of these and a new tie rod arm. Ah. So apparently we just limped by getting this pit done. Now we're gonna start having problems. <sighs> Knew it was too good to be true. I'll go give him the good news. That tie rod arm broke. The oh. one on that side that we oh. were having trouble with, it broke off. Did it? Yeah. Oh. So, I think you're gonna need a new one of those like caster things that holds it. It's all egg shaped. Yeah. Looks terrible. But uh. I thought I popped that tire because it was squished straight down, but it was because it was trying to turn against the other one because they were both, the tires were turned in the opposite yeah. directions. Yeah. So. Just close that up. We'll have to. We'll okay. be a while. At least it's all nice and neat there. So, we didn't get it completely finished, but close. We're also going to be taking this feeder out front in the morning, and our welder is going to come down. The spots that we welded up, they fell right off again, so we're going to have him weld those two bars back on, and we're also going to have him weld the sides together or just bolt them together or something. It's a pain in the butt to have two halves. We had like ropes connecting them, but they just kept breaking off every time you try to move it. So now we have it hooked with chains. You don't want to end up losing the chains and it's very hard to move it with the chains because they just end up falling off when you're trying to move it. So we're going to have the two halves hooked together. So whenever Brent wants to move it, I think he's going to have a, um, a bucket hook welded right on a bar that goes along the top of it in the middle so that he can just drive up to it, hook onto it and pick it up and move it. So he's gonna be coming over tomorrow at 10, I think, to work on that. And to top it all off, it's raining again. God bless Maine. Put that back down in there. You gotta go more. Oh yeah. More. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit more.
the fun begin. We should have known it was too easy. What? What's that? Said we should have known that was too easy. It, it's easy to work on that knuckle with the tire pushed out. I can push it out with a skid steer. Just, you know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta clean it up. Turn the turn wheel all the way to the right. All the way to the right. So we can work on that without. Okay. Easy Is there any way to lock that loader? Huh? Is there any way to lock that loader? Um, as a stretch you can put in it. I brought all the tools that, from the barn rack. You see that? That pocket is right there. This one? Yeah. That's an 18. Oh. Not quite? No, it's too small, so maybe it is too. So. Okay. Um, do you want the impact? I'll try that. Right here. We got to take care of our tools. Mm hmm. Yes, we do. Some virus in That's it right there. I'm not sure if I can... Well, yeah. Again. There's one. I think... You want me to put these in the cab? Yeah. You're open. So. Like, like an open end. That that yellow pipe wrench and mm -hmm. and like an open end like like one of these. Let me see if that's it's a seven eight. It's probably like inch or fifteen. Okay, I don't think these go any bigger than. No, no. It's the that's biggest they go. You said an inch. Inch or inch and a sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Good job. I'm just here for moral support. Okay. Yeah. Why did I do that? That's just about where it wants to be. It's just not long enough. I just, I don't understand why it's so difficult for somebody to give you the right thing the first time. Oh, wait a minute. Jason could cut that off and weld it to it. Would that work? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's coming tomorrow. <laughs> we rely on our welder way too much. We're like, help. Yeah, why couldn't he? I bet he could. That's going to go in. This tractor needs to be pressure washed too. Now that we're done. Mm. Did you want me to back one of those on spreaders up there? After we eat. Oh, okay. Lunchtime first. Okay, now. Good man. Let's go in and see if I get a pirate foot because you'll never. You might be able to explain to him. It should just be a knuckle, right? A tie rod knuckle. Yeah. Okay, so I think in order to work in a shop, or I mean a parts store, they should just like <laughs> throw you out on a farm for like a couple months and you get some real experience. Mm. It's the right, <laughs> front right. I, 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 I assumed it'd be different, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm hungry. You? Yep.
Star. You, you hooked that gate, right? Yes, I did. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't hook the gate down the other end of the van. That pipe gate, you know, way down. It's just kind of, you know, like. Oh, uh, yeah, the bowl the might bowl get might in? possibly push it open. I'll go shut it. All right. I guess we're going to get some lunch and then we'll come back and start working on things. So we just finished lunch. Brent is over there fixing the Kubota right now. He called about the part and they we're not really sure if they can get it yet. They haven't called us back. Um, but he's just going to re-piece it together right now. He's going to put some washers into that, put that back in, and just get it so we can finish cleaning off that pad for today and we won't be without a loader. We won't use it hard until we get it fixed the right way, but we still are waiting for that part. So what I'm going to be doing is I got the pressure washer over there all set up. Um, and we're going to drive the International over there and the New Holland spreader and we're going to clean everything up. We're going to put it on the lawn so we don't make a mess on the pavement. The lawn could use the fertilizer anyway. So since we're done spreading, we're just going to get everything all cleaned up. And we thought we might as well start with the New Holland since we didn't get to clean that a couple years ago. We did clean the Coon a couple years ago. Not that you'd ever know that now, but anyway, let's get this over there. get this baby clean. I shouldn't enjoy it this much, but I do. Okay, so we were gonna use our sh big shop one that we used to have in the milk room and we replaced with this one, but it's all torn apart right now. So we're just gonna use this one. It probably will do okay. It's not gonna get everything as clean because it's like a thousand less PSI, but it should be okay. Okay.
working on that feeder. We got the International all cleaned up. I just gave it a quick pressure washing. I didn't get too serious. I just made sure to get the rims and everything. Um, and the top of it, which was pretty coated and the muffler and everything, I also got up by the steering wheel. So I guess I did get pretty involved, but we unhooked that from the manure spreader. That's over there. I'll go show that to you guys. It looks so much better, all clean now. Um, we hooked up the mowing machine. We've got that all greased. We also greased the International. So everything's ready to go as far as that goes. Now we're just waiting on the grass. It's been a pretty busy day. We did all that, got the farm lawn mowed. So I kind of like half finished pressure washing this yesterday and today. It took me like four hours in total. So I did it until milking time last night and then I did it quite a bit this morning. Probably you can tell, I haven't looked in the mirror. I don't know how dirty I am. So if I'm very dirty, I'm sorry, I apologize. This morning we also did drain the hubs in the Kubota and we replaced the gear oil in that. So that takes, I think, 3.7 quarts, so almost a gallon in each side. We replaced that just to be on the safe side. It's been probably two years since we did that. It looked fine and it was the right amount in each side, so there was no problems there, but it's nice to know that that all set, that gets a lot of wear and tear on the front end. So pretty much all we need to do now is get out all the other hang equipment. We're not gonna wash this manure spreader. I am gonna wash the Massey, obviously, because that is just a complete mess. The platform on it is unbelievably filthy so yeah definitely need to wash that before we put it on the baler but we're gonna keep the coon out just to do the second crop with that so we're not gonna clean it until the end of the season we did test the mowing machine out and it sounds great so it's just a matter of trying it out for real and seeing how it works this year we put that new rock guard on it we haven't really tried it since then so fingers crossed that it works good but it sounds okay this is how much hay we've got left we did have a crazy windstorm that pulled two panels yeah, two panels. I was like three, but that's one of the skylights. Two of the panels off here, so we do need to have someone come and fix that. It's always something I swear, but that's the dry hay we got left. I'd say probably 150 bales. So a decent amount. We won't have to do much dry hay this year for sure. Here it is, and it looks spectacular. I love it when it's all clean. I did get the beaters and everything, and all those are good. There's a couple teeth missing, but no whole sections or anything are missing. All good to go for this fall if we do want to use it. Um, usually we don't use two spreaders in the fall just because we don't have as much manure, so we'll just use the one. But if we did want to use it, we just hook it up real quick, grease it, check the chain and everything. This one does not have an oil bath. It just has an oiler on it. You don't have to worry about that. Just make sure it's got some oil in it. Yeah, it looks really good. Some of you guys were asking what model this was, and I really didn't know until I cleaned it off. It's a 3114. I think that's like the next size down from the biggest that you can get. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's, you know, not the biggest, but the next one down from that. It cleans up good. Not bad for a 17 year old spreader. It's got a few spots on it that'll have to be replaced in a couple years. Like we're gonna need a patch there. It's leaking just a little bit. Yeah. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and comment. And if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to do that. And hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos come out. You guys know the drill. Keep it real, keep farming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.